posting about Among Us. It's not funny. Sussy. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Salty Channel. I felt that I need to make a weird opening because... Because... I'm so quirky, I'm not like the other girls. No, nope, no seriousness, welcome back to the Salty channel. And I understand, another creep show art video, Salty, aren't we getting tired of these? Yes, I understand, but again, in every video I promise I'm doing two things, and I only end up doing one thing because it's always too tiring, and it's always like really late at night when I'm recording, so I just want to go to sleep. So basically today, I will just be doing one thing in a video, I know, being organized for one, and I will only be talking about one single thing in this video. Well. You know what I mean, like one base concept idea of things and bringing in other stuff into it to just form a nice little beautiful video if you understand what I'm trying to say. With these fucking cars, shut the fuck up, it's like 10 o'clock, why are you outside? Now basically if you don't know what I'm talking about today, even though you definitely do because this has been widespread on the internet for multiple, multiple weeks by now I think. I mean, time's passing by like, like nothing ever happened. And by nothing ever happened, I mean it's literally sped up in my personal opinion. I've been lightened up on schoolwork because the school year is about to end and you know Hitting 1000 is pretty poggers, so it does give it does it does make my days a bit faster But basically if you don't know what's going on I'll give you a quick little synopsis basically youtuber creep show art Shannon that I'm sure you're aware of had recently been exposed for going on to lol cow and talking a lot about about friends saying genuinely transphobic stuff as well as ableist things overall You know showing that there is a mask that she's portraying on her YouTube, which is not necessarily a bad thing It's just a YouTube persona Again, I don't have a problem with it, but when it goes to this extent, it's a little, it's a little off the hook per se. But many of these lol cow posts included stuff talking about like hopeless peaches. Now, you may be asking, how do you know that it was Shannon running this account? Now, you may be thinking, well, how does this lol cow link up to Shannon? I mean, it could just be some random person impersonating Shannon or even just some random person talking about things that Shannon talks about. Which, if you haven't watched my last few, now, if you haven't watched my last few videos, go watch them now because it gets into the grime and muck of all the situation breaking it down and basically saying hey that's what that means but basically this was linked up by lol cow admins they had traced the ip back to shannon's over the multiple years and when shannon was called out on this she made a community post where she basically stated that her ip was spoofed for email conversation which is physically impossible mind you you cannot really spoof an ip then use it for years and years on end which is the amount of time that this lol cow account had posted and lasted for without that ip changing it depends if she had a lan ip or a public ip because that really depends on your router and I get into the, like the nitty and gritty of it in my past couple of videos, so go check those out. But Shannon's behavior toward this entire situation, all as long as, uh, as well as a couple of her past friends coming out about the situation, we have reached a consensus of basically that Shannon is guilty. Shannon had stated that, hey, for I'm gonna go and do legal stuff and try and prove them 100% innocent, and I won't be posting on the internet until then, and has basically ghosted all her social media since. And now this may be a bit of a jambled timeline, but I'm going to say before she had said that she's going legal she had made a community post defending herself and then claimed she got hacked then all of her videos are privated and her community post is private videos then were untouched at that point community post was still deleted community posts were back up and that one was still deleted so everyone was like hey it's kind of coincidental that once you face criticism that could end your career and stuff that you know is genuinely taken seriously you just so happen to get hacked it's very it's a very 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 coinkadink sort of story that's not very believable so we've reached a point where hey shannon's guilty but for reasons that I won't state this is all alleged I'm not saying this is a hundred percent but based off the evidence it's pointing towards that this video is to just try and show you hey this exists so you can formulate your own opinion on this entire situation and maybe spread it up to others to try and convince them before I do get into the new recent stuff I know this is going to be annoying but if you don't mind going down and hitting the subscribe button it would really mean a lot to me as well as turning on post notifications and liking this video it really does push out the video to new people which would support my channel a ton giving me more giving me more motivation to upload 
upload more frequently and upload better videos each and every time. And hey, if you watch till the end, you'll be aiding me in my goal of trying to get monetized, which then I can make money off of it and hopefully like upgrade my 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 stuff so I can make the best quality content for your entertainment. So if you really don't mind, it's free for you and you can always unsubscribe later. That would just mean a lot to me. And if you want to communicate to me and see updates about my content, you can go follow my Twitter. I post things on there like haha -ha funnies. You can see me give my takes on it and opinions that are unfiltered in videos. And finally, you can go down and join my Discord server where you can meet a community of people that are just like me, share common interests. So if you are interested in that, I would recommend going to join. But with that all out of the way, let's get in to the recent Shannon drama and oh boy, is it a lot- Okay, I shouldn't- I shouldn't probably be saying stuff across my room. I'm probably gonna wake up my parents and they're gonna be- Just kidding, okay? That was a joke. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys what I was making this video on. Okay, so basically- Jesus Christ, my channel's a mess. Basically, what we're going to be doing is looking through some of Emily Arful's tweets to add additional proof and evidence onto this and making our formed opinions on it. Because that's what we like to do here, my little- my little oodle salt shakers. But there are a lot of them and a lot of threats so uh buckle in it's been like three it's been there's like two days worth of tweets here and this was an ongoing situation so there was a lot of tweets here are a lot more receipts guys Ashley Lilix gave me permission to share this publicly as she was part of Shannon's friend group, so we know this ev evidence is credible. Hey, I just realized something that adds even more to your story. I'm not sure if you know this, but myself and multiple others can confirm that Shannon and Anthony share a phone and have for a long time. If not always, I've I've only known her for a year and some change. She told us this on multiple occasions. It just hits me like a brick wall. I can't believe I didn't think to tell you that before. It adds a whole new layer of valid validity, validity, validity to everything. I hope you're doing okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a hard to read. Uh... But yes, Ashley was actually a very credible source as it's seen that she was a friend of Creepshow Art. But then again, all of these people have been friends of Creepshow Art that are coming out today. And again, it's clear as day that Shannon is... Okay, I'll outright say it. Shannon's in the wrong. And Shannon is probably guilty. Again, I gotta say allegedly or probably guilty because I can't make any confirmed things here because apparently Shannon's taking things legally, so I am effed in the A. I had another large creator who I was quite close with, with Shannon tell me, I absolutely believe she's been creating fake accounts to slander your name and gossip and talk shit. She was just like way too invested in you to a creepy extent. This YouTuber wishes to remain anonymous. They were close enough with Shannon that I would imagine Shannon has a lot of information that she could hold over their head which could affect this. YouTuber's ability to make a living, I do not hold that against her in any way, of course, understand that fear very well. Now, I can't really confirm without any evidence of this claim by this bigger YouTuber because this YouTuber wants to stay anonymous, so I can't really tell if this is credible or not. The source seems credible because it's coming from Emily Arful, but then again, we don't have entire evidence. But come on. On. When we've seen everything that Creepshow Art has done, or at least has alleged to be doing, it points up to Creepshow Art doing it, so would this really be much of a shocker? So Creepshow Art o didn't only just talk shit to their face. Oh no, no, you gotta gossip and talk shit like, 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 oh, what was that one girl's name? Oh my god, I knew it, it literally a couple days ago, I knew the name. Oh, like Regina George. You gotta gossip and talk shit like Regina George, then I think you're a mega virgin. What, why did I just go, what? Excuse me, I was about to say mega something else, but I'm glad I said that because I'm probably gonna get taken off YouTube if I actually said the right thing. For once, my stutter has actually has actually helped me, despite that being a hard thing to say when I'm reading off so many goddamn screenshots. Here's a Facebook message that I had sent to Anthony's step-grandmother back in 2017 stating that I believed he was stalking me since we were not Facebook friends. I don't believe she was ever notified that I reached out. Some context. Anthony's grandfather remarried this woman and he and Anthony moved into her home. She was very outgoing and wanted to bond with Anthony, but he was not interested. She had pretty strict rules about visitors because she was an old woman. I don't quite blame her. <laughs> okay, when I had first read this thread, I was like, what does grandmothers have to do with this? Because I was thinking, man, like, family stuff? Why? What? I didn't know that was intertwined here. And it's just a funny concept of old people being involved in internet beef. I find it funny in my personal opinion. Excuse me, not internet beef, internet drama. I can't correct my mistake. <laughs> 
She bought all the new gaming consoles at the time and tried to appease him, but he just froze her out. He had a top floor room and lived in an upper middle class neighborhood. I tried to give him a, to give her her chance, but he refused and instead said some heinous things about her. I recall him saying that he wanted to roast her on a spit like the pig she is. At some point, he made a comment, I thought in jest, that it would be so easy just to poison her morning coffee. He often made threatening OMG to no totally kidding comments like these about men. Many people. Despicable. Despicable man. That pisses me off. Your grandma buys you gra gaming consoles. Bro, that's your grandmother. If I, if that was my grandmother, I'd be shining her shoes every morning. I'd be praising her like a religion. And this man is out here literally saying stuff like I want to spit, roast her on the spit like the pig she is. And saying that it would be so easy to poison her morning coffee, which is the most effed up thing that I have ever heard in my entire life. And that is not cool bro i don't I, I i know you guys know this but that is not cool clearly this anthony fella does not get that doing this sort of stuff is not cool no wonder you don't have a korean music because you're a pathetic piece of garbage who's done nothing but hurt people in his entire life and threaten people sorry i had to go off there jesus christ back on track i got along with his step grandma she was kind and very generous albeit a bit strict and goofy Anthony became so reclusive and offensive, he was openly unkind to her, then the least- the, then- <laughs> Then she and his grandfather asked him to move out of their- her slash their home, or at least that's what he told me. Good on them. Good on them. Strict and goofy. Sound familiar? Shannon's parents were also this way. Anthony only mentioned them passing once, and he said they were overall pretty nice and just dorky. When discussing this, how shocked we were at Shannon's feigned homelessness- L- L- Excuse me. When discussing this, how shocked we were at Shannon's feigned homelessness- Ashley Lilix said this. What I had noticed is a sort of conflicting what I had been told prior was Anthony describing their choice to become homeless as a premeditated choice that was, if anything, a positive experience, whereas Shannon described it as a horrible time in her life as a revolt result of an ultim- ultim- Bro, why can't I- As a result of an ultimatum her parents gave her to either go to school or leave the house that led to her being forced into homelessness. Now, there is clear as day evidence of Anthony literally stating that he chose to be homeless along with his friends. So Shannon had an option between doing good in school. Actually, not even do good, just literally go. I don't know how people find it that difficult to fucking go to school, man. Or she'd have to leave the house. And you want to know what? Like, the immature person she is, instead of getting her grades up, rolling up her sleeves, and doing dirty work, goes and lives in her car. And Anthony, being someone who also left for the same reason, by his own pre-premeditated pre pre choice, their reasons are sort of similar. And that, you know, Emily says this. So I'll read it right now. Shan's parents wanted what was best for her, so gave her an ultimatum. That's certainly strict, but not entirely unheard of. I just find it interesting because Anthony was running mostly by a choice because he couldn't make an attitude adjustment from a similar circumstance. Yeah, and it just really shows the character of, uh, what's what- Bro, I am so tired. I can't even right now. I need a drink of Pepsi. It's empty. You gotta be- You gotta be fucking kidding. Bro. Why? But well, this entirely shows how Shannon and Anthony uh, behave. Their attitudes cannot be adjusted in any way, so they will take the hard way out just so they can, you know, stand by their shitty behavior. Which kind of shows in this situation, because Shannon just going dark and saying that you're going legally is probably the worst thing you can do. Blowing off something and ignoring entire situation, saying that you're taking it legally and you will respond later is probably the worst thing you can do, because there was a lot of speculation and allegations coming out while you are gone that will put you even more down in the deep when your brain goes numb you can i'm so sorry i'm so so very sorry but basically ignoring an entire drama that's very serious is the worst thing you can possibly do so i just wanted to make a little link connection there because i'm so quirky ah ha 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 i also had stumbled upon some facebook messenger receipts that i didn't even know i had else i would have used them in my video this facebook user is anthony we'll have proof down in the thread these first managers are from 12 uh, it's from 12? Where'd I get 12 from? What? 10, 21, 13, and I thought at first he was describing Shannon. But basically, inside these DMs, he describes a woman who resembles Emily. But Emily at first thought she he was just referring to Shannon. He goes into more detail about her body at one point. They don't seem to match Shannon's physical description. Also, when I say sounds like me, I am referring to him saying that I told him the human mind doesn't forget faces while I was drawing. I wasn't referring to his dream girl. In that last exchange, it appears to be I was in a moment of sobriety. 
and this one I am not sober. This happens throughout our exchange, and it's very obvious when I am under the influence and when I am not. When I'm sober, I want a lot less to do with him, which I find interesting. In contrast, when I am using, I'm much more willing to enter this codependent back and forth with him. Here, I also confirm this is Anthony as I call him by his name. So, clear proof evidence that this is Anthony, as you can see inside of the photo. It's Anthony's name right there, printed fat on that paper. An example of him talking about a girl he was seeing briefly after me that didn't- that really didn't like me. It shows that he had a pattern of behavior bad enough that warrants blocking. Who was the one who hated my guts? That's the one I hate. I don't remember. It may have been blank, but if she hates- she hates everything. I want pics of blank. I am curious. LOL. She blocked me. I have none. What was her Facebook name? She's short with short hair. I'm so curious what the soul sucker looks like. To be honest, I would get a little jelly when you talk about her. I'm pretty sure he had some sort of on and off relationship with Shannon until they made it official way down the road in his homelessness video. video. It struck me as odd that he says, My friends and I decided to live out on our cards and not my girlfriend and my friends. Keep in mind, Anthony was the person I knew, so Anthony is the one that I have the most direct receipts from. After I confronted Shannon, there were times that later that she tried to buddy up with me on Twitter and support me publicly. I ignored her each time, but I feel that if I didn't, she would have done her best to get close to me in order to further pull the strings behind the scenes. I feel after confronting them, a part of Shanthony was afraid of what I could release on them, so they mostly back off, but given the chance, I think they would have started. Right back up again, they they had more juicy receipts on of me on post-15... <laughs> Oh my god, please. Post 2015, that's why Shin would take half truths about me, blow them up with lies. It's because she didn't have anything current she could hold over my head. I am so glad I chose not to interact. But this language is the same sort of stuff that we saw in the last video, or the video before last video. Yeah, I think I'm right on that one. But this links up the two Anthony's, the, uh, the alt accounts and the actual Anthony DM. This links them up together because they're, they've been called by Anthony and respond by Anthony multiple times in this post. So it does prove the fact that that is Anthony on that line. Also exposing more bad behavior by Anthony to warrant a block by another girl. Now I want to finalize this video off of one tweet that sort of solidifies the fact that Anthony and Shannon have been doing this even more than before. Even more receipts. Here's proof that Shan liked to use sock puppet accounts and late on I reveal that she had to have known who I was early on at alleged Andalo caught this little slip up in one of Shannon's TikToks and it shows that there is a sock puppet account with Shannon on it in a TikTok. So Shannon you're literally done for. You are done for. And I can say that wholeheartedly. Shannon, you are done for. But with that, folks, this video is running on a little long. It is the sort of average range that my video should be at by now, but I digress. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the content, I consider subscribing if I were you, following my Twitter for updates on my content, as well as joining my Discord server because I will be very active on there if I can be, as well as if YouTube doesn't give you notifications since they're sort of whack with that, you will get notified by a Discord server bot. And overall, you just get to meet a community of my fans and who doesn't want to doesn't want to you know join discord server it's all about me because i am the best and no one else is better than me no but in all seriousness thank you guys for watching uh love you bye